Brothers and sisters, my purpose for this devotional is to provide you a glimpse of the inspired programs and counsels our church has to offer to a rising generation. These initiatives are anchored on developing a strong bond of our youth with their Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, family, and others through worthwhile activities and service opportunities. Next in our list is Seminary Every Day. So, as you know, we have seminary for uh, grade school students and then we have institute para sa ating mga college students. So, I cannot overemphasize the importance of seminary as I, as you always hear me no? and uh, encourage yung ating mga youth na mag-seminary. Of course, according to their own free will. No? So, I am counting really on the support of our parents and the family of our youth to really be able to do seminary every day. Alam ko po yung challenge na meron ng mga youth ngayon with the online schooling that we have now and the modules that we have. They are very busy and uh, I know they are striving to keep up no, doon sa kanilang mga napakaraming gagawin. And uh, I also understand yung mga parents uh, sa kanilang sacrifices as they help no, yung kanilang mga anak to uh, finish yung kanilang mga modules, yung kanilang online schooling requirements. But then again, I know na importante to have balance sa buhay ng ating mga youth that as they learn secular knowledge they also learn doctrines and principles that come from the scriptures and from the words of the living prophets in our uh, previous devotional for youth uh, si sister Amy Cortez shared her testimony of the importance and blessing of seminary to her two children. So let us uh, listen to a mother's testimony of seminary every day. I'd like also to um, to touch on seminary class. Sorry po parents, pero talagang at this point in time, yung active Pagiging active po ng mga anak nyo sa seminary, sana po uh, sa inyo na rin po manggaling kung nakikita nyo hindi sila ganun ka-active sa seminaries. Kasi I would like to cite example kasi wala naman ako ibang masasite kundi sa mga anak ko. Um, si Arjo, si Arman Job Cortez po yung panganay kong lalaki. Kung I hope hindi siya magagalit sa akin pero elementary ang mga grades po niyan is talagang pasang-awa. Nasa line of seven niyan yan lahat halos. 79, 77, 78, 76, 75. Um, but when he started going to seminary, amazing. Kasi nag-graduate siya ng high school as a top five sa kanyang klase. Which is, I always... Um, Inasabi ko lagi yun na I owe it to his seminary class. Kasi mas nai-enrich yung mind. Sabi nga, seek you first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. So nai-enrich yung mind niya sa seminary kasi mag-iisip ka, mag-research ka ng scriptures, and then may inspire ka. And it went hand in hand sa school niya. So, and... As a parent naman po, ang ginawa ko, I made sure na nagsiseminary sila. Sa akin, mas importante na nasa seminary class sila. Minsan, pinapayagan ko pa yan mag-skip ng classes. And as long as hindi siya makaka sa growth niya sa school, pinapayagan ko yan kasi I want them to understand na although importante yung secular, mas importante yung spiritual knowledge 
kasi yun ang maghuhubog sa atin bilang tao, bilang anak ng Diyos. So yun po ang, ang, ang experience ko bilang leader at bilang nanay ng mga youth.